Hi, this is Darius. Now I'm going to spend some time showing you how to remove and import pools into a ZFS storage appliance. This is commonly used uh, if you are upgrading storage controllers and you want to take an existing disk from one controller and put it onto a new controller from a previous generation to a new generation. So to remove a pool from the existing controllers, uh, what you do is you come in and you find the pool you want to remove and you simply click it and click on config. Of course before you do this you'd want to make sure that uh, all the clients are uh, you know not don't have it mounted anymore, any LUNs, file systems. Uh, make sure there's no active data going on uh, before you do this because it will be uh, catastrophic if they are using any of the storage at that point. And you'll get a message. You click on config says continuing will unconfig the pool Olympic remove any file systems to run the process make sure this is what you want to do before continuing and uh, we will say this uh, and it even tells you here the process can be undone by importing uh, if you didn't really mean to do this but we do want to do this this could also be used if you simply don't want to use this pool the way it's being used any longer if you want say a different raid type uh, uh, protection scheme uh, or something else or you want to split it up into multiple pools this would be another way to do this of course in that case you would have to make sure you back up all your disks to another location uh, because all the data would be destroyed if you went ahead and created new hardware out of this okay so uh, it is gone now so if we wanted to we could create a new pool which we're not going to do we're going to import it uh, Basically, this is what you would do if you could, took all these shelves, connected them up to the new controllers. Uh, you could do that hot. You would come over here to import instead of create a new pool. And it's going to go out and search the drives for the existing pool. Okay, the pool is now uh, back on the sees the available pool, the Olympic pool. Uh, I can go ahead and hit commit and it'll import that pool. Okay, the pool is back online. And if I go over here to shares, we'll go back and see that the existing share I had in here is there. So everything's back. So you could go ahead and on the new controllers, configure all the network and all that that you wanted to, but all your data, your shares, all that would be there intact. Thank you very much.